Okay, today we're going to make a lightweight camping stove out of soda cans. For this you will need two 355ml or 12 ounce soda cans and a 250ml or 8 ounce can. In this frame I've actually started and cut one down to size. Turn one of the large cans upside down and remove the part of the base as shown. I used a sharp knife for this but a hole saw of the right size will be a lot quicker. Cut the cans to height. I used a plastic container and a snap knife or box cutter blade. The container is about 45 millimeters or one and three quarter inches tall. Watch your fingers. I just pressed the can up to the knife and turned it round and round and round. Once the score mark is deep enough, if you flex the can, it will break along this mark. Once you are in, if you press on the can, it will continue to break along the score mark. Make holes in the base of the smaller can as shown. About eight will do. You can use a drill to do this or a nail. You can add some to the outside as well as this just drains through to the vaporizing chamber. Cut the smaller can to height. I just placed the book under the container shown before to give a little extra height. I actually use the star bellied snitches but Utel the Turtle, the best book written on the subject of turtle stacking ever, would work as well. Place the smaller can inside the large can as shown. In this frame, the smaller can was a little tall, so I made it shorter by trimming it with some scissors. Use the two larger cans as a guide. Basically, the one with the hole cut in the base is going to fit inside the other, and get pushed down to about where the printing stops. Press the can with the hole cut in the base into the other larger can. This can be a little tricky and maybe some water or something to act as a lubricant would be useful. Try to keep the smaller cans central during this operation. Your stove will now look like this, given a little bit of luck. You can see that it's beginning to take shape. Next I drilled 12 holes equally spaced around the circumference of the can. You can actually just poke these holes through with a large needle. Next I ran around the join between the smaller can and the larger can with some high temperature gasket goo. This is not strictly needed but it's just a finishing touch to the stove. Now the stove is ready to light. Fill the centre cavity with meths or alcohol and light it with a match or a lighter. After lighting the stove, the stove will take a couple of minutes to heat up and then it will start to operate correctly. The fuel in the outside chamber will now be vaporizing and the holes around the circumference of the can will turn into jets. So that is the stove complete. Let me know how your project gets on. Thanks for watching and don't forget to thumbs up or down, comment and better still subscribe. Talk to you next time.